live from Austin, where in this universe, Bonnie hates you, and like the Von Ericks, everyone dies. It's going to be a great night. Now prepare yourselves like a post-apocalyptic 14-year-old girl who learns many things along the way, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Whoa, 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 what is this? I'm today, I just heard Brett say everything right, and Bryce looked up, that was really fun, <laughs> and I want to rub it in his face, go! Oh, that's in your face, rub it around in that special place. <laughs> oh, you nailed it, all right. Uh, <laughs> Justin. Brian. Did, do, do we want to start with the stinger, or just start with the thing? Oh my god, the music's not done playing. Wait for the music to stop playing. Everybody wait. Brian, wait. Oh, just, just. <laughs> would, would you guys wait? Here we go. Yeah, we're waiting. Okay. Justin. Yeah. Oh my How god. was your week? <sighs> <laughs> I got surprised and it affected me profoundly and i don't know where we should start uh let's start with the part where yeah something surprised both of us <laughs> and it's the same thing what surprised you yeah. is that Brian could keep a secret. <laughs> and what surprised me was that Brian could keep a secret. All right, so let's, let's, uh, 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 Bryce, do you have, I, and I, I, I apologize because we did not set up, but do you have any of the, the video that was put up publicly of my surprise moment? I have some photos. I don't have a video. Okay. If anybody can, can uh, find a video and throw it in the chat, if not, don't worry about it. But, on Friday night, what I thought was happening was that I was going to go on a little walk. I normally go on a much longer walk on a Friday, but I was explained to me that I shouldn't do that because my brother and sister-in-law were in town, and their two kids, who I love, and uh, uh, they, I was explained to me that their, uh, uh, whatever, grandma is in a bowling league, and so they're fascinated with bowling. And so we oh need God. to go. This already sounds fake as hell. <laughs> so we need to go. No, but they're kids, but but they're young enough kids. Right. That, like, like if, if you would have told me that they're fascinated with crinkling aluminum foil, I would have bought it because like right. they fucking are. Like I get I literally, here's I love doing bits in general. I love doing bits with kids. I love doing bits with those kids because they love, they'll sell fucking everything mm -hmm. constantly, forever. Uh, uh, the bit that wound up lasting until the end of the week was one where, uh, uh, and this was dangerous, and I, I tried to ratchet it down. It wasn't going to happen. Uh, but they would poke one of my eyes, and I would go from me being Justin to me being a pirate. They would <laughs> poke my other eye, and I would go to a comically... A blind man who needs to touch everyone's faces because in movies, <laughs> blind people are touching faces sure. all the time. Sure. And then they would unpoke my eyes, which also involved them putting their fingers in my eyeball. Uh, so that that's basically what happened. So it was not out of bounds to be like, oh, we'll, we'll go. Their bowl. new bit is they love. Like, they heard there's a bowling alley like a mile away from your house. Yes. So I go for my walk. My wife is being fucking so annoying. And she's like, all right, I see where you are. Because I have my find my iPhone on and she has access to it. So she's like, I know where you are. I'm going to come pick you up. And I'm like, not far away from our house. And I'm like, oh, fuck, man. But, but like, you're on a walk. You're in the headspace like, of yeah, getting like, work just done. Let me get back to the house. I got to throw away the beer can I have in my hand. Like, like this is just like, like it's it better if I get there. She's like, oh, I don't know. I really want to get like, I'm like, okay, whatever. So I'm fucking half annoyed. Get out of the car. We walk in and I'm told that I'm going to meet my brother-in-law in the bar because I've been such a good sport with the kids. He wants to buy me a beer. Nice. So I walk into the bar. So it's still performative in your mind where it's like, these are the rituals that we do to thank for the thing. I think we're going to have a fun family right. night bowling. That's, that's what I think is going to happen. 
Uh, indeed, but, my brother-in-law is in the bar. But all things being equal, what you really want to talk about is the witch trials of J.K. Rowling. <laughs> I'm texting Brian because I'm listening to the witch trials of J.K. Rowling, and I have very specific petty notes, and um, I'm texting him. I'm not getting anything back from Brian. I'm like, fuck. Normally, also, on Thursdays, I'm supposed to talk to John Teasdale. I went on my walk on Thursday. Teasdale won't answer. I'm like, fuck, all right, well, I guess I'm just the real piece of shit, huh? I'm, I'm just I'm just the old hat in the corner also, of the room. And also, like, like uh, Andrew Maine canceled last minute before the Weird Things podcast. Yeah, which, that happens all the time, so I know, <laughs> that one didn't even trip the fucking Richter scale. Uh, I then get to the bar, and indeed my brother-in-law is there, as are his wife and his kids and my wife and Brian and Bonnie, and his kids, and Jacob the audio guy, and Andrew Maine, and his wife Roshni, and my friend, uh, uh, my friends Matt and Beth, and Trey, and Anicia, their unborn child, uh, and your college roommates. My college roommates are there. Uh, my Tom neighborhood Merritt, friends, Tom Garrett Merritt, Wonder. Garrett, uh, uh, Gabe, my buddy from from uh, uh, Oakland, is there. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, yeah, time jumper is yes. there. Uh, uh, to the point where I I don't know how to act and I don't say anything. Uh, Jen Briney is there. Uh, Heaton's there. So like, uh, it Brett Roundsville's there. Uh, it it was John Teasdale. John Teasdale, <laughs> who was in fucking New Zealand, yes. as far as I knew. <laughs> that dude was in New Zealand and then was in the Westgate Bowling Alley Bar. But here's the most awkward thing. <laughs> Pin in all this. On Thursdays, my walk used to be around the block, and I'd have a couple drinks, and then I would stop in the Westgate Bowling Alley bar, and I made friends with the bartender. So the bartender was there. The bar so then I stopped going there over dry January, and I have not gone back. So yes, she was there, but also her first thing when I went up to go get a drink is, where the fuck have you been? <laughs> also, Darren Kitchen. He wasn't there that night, actually. Oh, he was there the next night. Mm -hmm. uh, right. uh, but still, uh, uh, the the point was that people from around the world literally flew in to do this, which I only later found out was not a thing that was randomly put together. It was something that had been in the works. For months, and I heard that very, very quickly, and I immediately, as soon as I found that out, I looked at my friend Brian Brushwood, <laughs> for whom I I have gotten to know very well over these past ten plus years that we have been friends. We have gotten even more uh, uh, on the same page because of World's Greatest Con, where we've had to work a lot together, and there's been more introspective kind of notes. I know things that Brian keeps secrets about. I know things that Brian has a very hard time keeping secrets about. The fact that this was in the works since when? Uh, a while. Uh, long enough Long enough for me to be very excited when you gave me permission to, on my birthday, talk about World's Greatest Con. And long enough that uh, just dumb other bullshit stuff became a proxy <laughs> and i was like really want to talk to other person about this dumb thing that's definitely not the real thing let me out gas about how hard it is for me to not talk to this person about this thing it was about you the entire time so the idea <laughs> all right so you knew how, how does this come together because i i don't i i still don't know exactly how this comes together i mean uh we can we can forensic trace it down but, but let's say two months ago uh no, knowing ashley she she probably had the wisdom to wait until we got to the part where Brian had to be informed to tell Brian. Um, okay. So, which I guess is probably two months ago or whatever. Um, yeah, she, and, she, uh, she was making point, mention I of, instantly, of, of I November. Instantly, I instantly forgot about it. Uh, yes. The moment I heard about it, I'm like, cool, you're doing a thing. Uh, I'm going to use my superpower. What to, thing? To forget it. <laughs> yes, Because exactly. that's going to be a lot easier than thinking about it. Really good about forgetting things. <laughs> I introduced Jacob to Bonnie at your party. <laughs> <laughs> and Jacob very patiently was like, 
We have met many times. <laughs> I have stayed at your property. We appeared live on stage together. Yeah. And I'm like, whatever, I'm in podcast mode. Yeah. <laughs> to, to be honest, when we were doing, when, when the surprise thing happened, and, and by the way, this was a, week, a weekend, like uh, uh, for uh, very boring, very unsympathetic reasons, I've been doing a lot of traveling to fun locations to have fun with friends and... I was expecting this to be the quiet weekend before I went off to the Bay Area for my actually my actual birthday weekend, which is this weekend. In fact, tomorrow, if you're going to be in the Bay Area at the Piano Fight Theater, you can please go ahead and get tickets at Eventbrite for We're Not Wrong Live, featuring myself, Jen Briney, and Andrew Heaton, the Yankee Doodle Panther, along with special guest Brian Brushwood. Yep. Oh! It's out now. It's out. Mainly because I we said it. A bunch, already. a lot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but just uh, trying to drag a little enthusiasm. No, it, no, it was good. It was good. It was, yeah. ah, oh, ah, these guys, <laughs> Brian these Brushwood. Guys. So, uh, uh, yeah, it was. Even thinking about it now, in an arena for which I really began talking off the top of my head and being funny and clever. I cannot put words to how much it all meant to me. And, you know, I, I joked with Ashley that, uh, you know, she was going to fuck this whole thing up because, like, my entire work ethic is built around assuming everybody doesn't like me and I need to make them like me with work. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's it's... You know, if I stop working in the next two weeks, then you'll know that everything went horribly awry. But uh, uh, technically, what you told me is, yeah, so when season four is just a voicemail from Brian, that's yeah. when you'll know. That's when you'll know. That you fucked it all up. <laughs> has ended and the engine is broken. It's just going to be like Brian's like, I think it should be about dogs. And I'm like, sounds great. <laughs> like, do you have a script? <laughs> yep. Just go with whatever you think. <laughs> World's like, greatest. I saw a dog today, <laughs> and it's like, 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 oh, okay, yeah, sure. Um, no, but in all, in all, in all honesty, um, you are the person, Brian, who has said uh, uh, over and over and over again that, like, it's not that anybody has an actual pinned thought about turning whatever or, age, right, right, right. like. 20, 30, 40, whatever the big round numbers that people have gigantic opinions about. Uh, it's it's just what our human nature is. We, we, we assign value to it. And so for whatever it is, be it me looking back at 10 years since my 30th birthday uh, or just, you know, the fact that at, at 40, thankfully, a career that I bet on back in my early 20s, new media when I didn't get a job in newspaper and I didn't follow my degree and I wasted my entire fucking collegiate expenditures, uh, like that, that has paid off. And so much of that room was filled with people that are, they're not just friends. They're podcasting like legends in my opinion. And, and were probably before I met them in, 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 you know, Merritt's case, like it, it meant, the the absolute world to me and and i don't even know how i can put it into words i certainly can't put them into you know funny what? words you did because you rounded the corner and we could see in your eyes like the only way to puncture the 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 thick chitin like skin of justin robert young is to overwhelm it with immense force and um it took collecting everybody from around the world and from every part of your life, from the very beginning to college to every phase in there. And you said the words, I will remember to my dying day. I'm so glad I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. I both was high and I was glad that I was. Well, yeah, I, I don't know what I would have done if I if I wasn't like like just. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> makes a little more sense now, right? Yeah, that makes a little more sense. <laughs> I knew he wasn't that emotional on first blush. Mm -mm, no, sir. 
Uh, Happy birthday, Justin. That was, yeah, that was the closest I could get to a joke at the time. But anyway, uh, uh, thank you to to everybody who uh, uh, showed up that night on Friday night at the bowling alley. Not Bryce, but, you know, oh everybody my God. else. Who, like, <laughs> you know. Wait, wait, wait. If, 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 if we could take a moment. Uh, Can we not? <laughs> Please, <laughs> please do all of us a fi the favor of of like really unpacking because we all were just happy that we pulled off the heist in that moment, and we saw in your eyes the scanning and the dawning realization of what was happening. But none of us know what was going on upstairs. Would would you do us the honor of kind of like really in a safe place okay. unpacking right. what that so was here, like yeah here's here's what happened number one ashley has done surprise parties for me twice before uh both more simple dinner kind of things that were just like oh all right it was my birthday i didn't want to do a big thing and the next thing you know she's like well let's just go to a fucking dinner and i'm like ah, whatever and then she drags me to dinner and a bunch of people that we know are there and we get to have a big fun dinner like she's done it twice so this, so this time, I first walk in and I see a bunch of people that are local, and I'm like, "Oh, this bitch! Like, like, like she did it again. She it, pulled it off." By the way, as you walked in, there was a brief second that probably is not still in your memory. At which point, we we didn't lock eyes, but we glanced eyes, and I immediately turned around and I was like, "I got made." Because we definitely stared right down the barrel at each other, and I, I thought it was all over, it. and no. that I was the one that screwed it up. No, no, no. So I no. turned around and faced the other way. Okay, good. No, I, I, I did not notice. Uh, I, I walk in, I see a bunch of people with their phones up that are recording me, and it's a bunch of local people. And then from there, if you, if, if you see this video, me... <laughs> But the, what, what is dawning is me scanning around the room <laughs> and seeing more and more people that shouldn't be there. So seeing uh, which, Brett which, Brownsville which, and Andrew Maine, people that flew from out of state, my mom, my brother, like uh, all these people that were not supposed to, yeah, yeah time jumper. Well, and, uh, and, and the whole people not supposed to be their thing, I think we're, we're a little bit trained to go immediately into, hey, good to see you mode, because we've been to so many conventions where somebody yeah. we met at, on the other coast of the continent or whatever is there uh, uh but but at some point you get overwhelmed and very clearly you're just talk me through well i i i i can't believe i'm i'm like at that moment and to be totally honest i'm still not down from that moment mm -hmm. i'm still at a, a a place of like i don't know how to operate in the world where everybody would show up like like that's not and not with be, words like, like not like, not it, with videos but actually get on a plane days before and deceive you for months ahead of time that's not for people like me that's not for people that that's not for people <laughs> that's not for who does like that's a thing that happens when you are rich and famous it's a thing that happens when everybody who's around you is rich and famous it's a thing that happens when when people are uh you know, like, I don't know, in different places in their lives, it doesn't happen in the Westgate Lanes bowling alley. It doesn't happen to me. It doesn't happen with the people that were there. Uh, I, I feel like I, what it made me face in that moment is that everything I've worked for paid off. And it's hard it's hard to do. It's really, really hard to do. In fact, I'm gonna speak a little bit out of, out, of, out, of, out of school here. I've had a bunch of conversations with a friend of ours who is excellent at climbing. And they've had a hard life, they've had a lot of challenges put before them, and they have excelled beyond every level that you could possibly put in front of them in terms of career success and money success, and like they're, they're doing fucking great. But they keep running into emotional issues and happiness issues. And what I keep telling him is you are great at climbing. You're not great at enjoying the view. And I think what I realized in that moment, and I've had to face in every moment since, is A, I'm right. Nailed it. <laughs> Number two, I can take my own advice. That, like, if I'm surprised by that, 
then like maybe I don't realize what I have in a community of people that love me and what I what what how much I mean to other people even as I define my relationship with how much I love them like it, it is half intentional and half imposter syndrome to think that it's good manners for me to just say all of my relationships need to be a hundred percent work on my side and then whatever anybody else wants to give me fucking whatever like like I'll, I'll check the bank account when i'm dead like other than that i just want to be there for people and and to see folks show up in that way uh was just uh yeah well it was exceptional so uh, I want that on a shirt, Bryce. Dude. Bryce keeps flashing a picture of me. <laughs> it's a great a photo. very high it's me best. pointing. It's the best photo ever. <laughs> it's it's is <it's>, uh, <laughs> uh, in fact put those and say I did that <laughs> underneath. <laughs> 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 Let that be the new bite. The, the new meme. <laughs> Let's put it on so, gas tanks. Then there's 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 a magician that I've heard about who is in academia and he was deeply relig religious and and never liked to lie and would figure out very very careful crafting of his uh, his uh, scripts. Uh, uh, there. There's a reason this alarm. We can just plug up. Founders no, Day. No, 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 no. no, no we're not. We'll, we'll okay. get to it. Um, Eventually, we'll <laughs> plug Founders Day. The, uh, 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 he would craft his scripts in such a way where he was never actually technically lying. And so uh, I'm very good at deciding to immediately forget things. And so the moment I heard there's a thing, great. Uh, future me will find Figure out. it out. Right, exactly. Because, so, because also... It's very dangerous to tell Brian that there is a surprise party for which he is not organizing. Or at least that's the reputation I've cultivated, right? But, yes. but, and also factually true. <laughs> uh, but, 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 but I'm yeah, very through good. Through deeds and actions, I've <laughs> cultivated this reputation, allegedly. It took a lot of effort. Uh, but but it, it's easy for me to forget about it. Uh, uh, but I've never had to lie to you on and and when we got closer and closer i remember uh on thursday or friday you were asking like hey man this whole weekend we gotta we gotta reshoot lines or whatever yeah are you available and there was a half second pause and i and i said the words i am free for whatever you want yes, <laughs> yes. which was technically technically true, true. right yeah um but what what was so even though even though for me it was very psychically difficult to uh, uh, hold anything back, um, it was worth it because uh, you know when when I turn forty and I am going to talk out of school because this is a theme that comes up in World's Greatest Con season three coming out uh, April first. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I had a tremendous amount of possibly April third if it, it's a Monday. Anyway, go ahead. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. In early April, we'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, by the way, reach out to us. <laughs> World's greatest con. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. The wait, illusion wait, wait, is out. destroyed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, You're the, so uh, strong. When I turned forty, I had a tremendous amount of external validation. That comes from goals that I had set. You know, that's when we hit a million subscribers. That's when the TV show came out and I happened to turn 40 or whatever. Uh, but my 40th birthday was, you know, me and Bonnie had a steak. Yeah. And uh, I'm very happy that I was, I was surprised that in that moment it felt hollow. And I'm very happy that in that moment that so many people feel so hollow that you instead just got a fucking bukkake of love. Yeah. Uh, like a fucking... Yeah, fuck you. Whatever. Yeah. I never loved you anyway. All right. Aww, and they're hugging. <laughs> Let's give it up for the hugging. Yay. Yeah. Yay. No, that's really sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Tickets are on sale right now for <laughs> Founders Day. <laughs> Founders.scamstuff.com. <laughs>
<laughs> Tomorrow night, what's going on? We, we have to go to Oakland. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we do. We do. Uh, uh, yeah, We're Not Wrong Live at Piano Fight in San Francisco. Uh, Brushwood is going to be the special guest. Myself, Jen Briney, the Yankee Doodle Panther, Andrew Heaton will be there. And uh, it's going to be an amazing time. Hey, Brett, what's the next topic? Wait, uh, well, hold up. Oh. Oh. Eventbrite.com. Bryce. Whatever. Eventbrite. Eventbrite. Dot. Brett. Hey, Brett. What's Bryce's next? Do- what? Uh, should I? Should I? No, no. I'll wait. Okay. <laughs> the alarm will go off in another. I, yeah. I, I kept delaying it. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine here. Next topic. Our right, next topic. Haircut update. So I'm not wearing a hat. Nope. <laughs> Good, haircut. Good, haircut. Good haircut. Good haircut. Good haircut. Turns out when you wear a hat for a month straight, your your bad haircut uh, becomes at least on top a suitable haircut, and you could walk in and say, "Swear to God, nothing above here. Just uh, you 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 cut all the sides." Yeah, and this is how much I care about our live show tomorrow. Yeah, yep. uh, I, I, I got a haircut and it looks okay. Uh, still not exactly what I want, but uh, I can it's now good. appear it's without good. a hat. Yeah. I also understand now why my mom had been yelling at me to get a haircut for the past three weeks. Not just your mom. No, because, my wife, too. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah. Because, I, and I, I believe it was Bonnie that brought up, like, oh, you should get a haircut. And then you said, yeah, I don't know what it is with everybody. Everyone keeps getting in my, my ass told about me a, haircut. a haircut. My wife told me to get a haircut. What's going on? You tell yeah. him. You don't listen to him, Justin. You let him. You let it grow long and free. I mean, yeah. look, lots like, of love. I, I, I will. I will go to my grave with the epitaph being: didn't listen to female signals. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, like from that's... from a, a, a toddler to the grave. Like I have. I have totally ignored women trying to very expertly guide me to many, many, many different things for which I've been like, oh, I don't know. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> do, 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 do. Was was either your mom or Ashley annoyed that you did not heed either of their advice? No, apparently it was all my mom. Okay. It was not. That sounds right. A- Ashley, oh, your, your Ashley, mom was pushing Ashley to. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And she was like, uh, and then my mom eventually just broke down and just said, get a fucking haircut. <laughs> she, she texted me. <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, by the way, and I, and I just hit her up with an LOL. Oh, you. <laughs> uh, by the way, I, I just to complete the circuit on the uh, surprise birthday weekend, like your mom maybe legitimately gave, like she cracked the code on speeches at events. Full stop. That was don't great. don't have more than one person. Have one person. Yeah, but make sure that one person. Is <laughs> tells literally the entire life story. Tells the entire story and make sure to shine a spotlight on people in the room. Mm-hmm. Like that was it. There was nothing else. She crushed it. Yeah, my mom told my life literally from the point of her feeling my heartbeat to inside her belly, inside her belly, uh, to uh, a, a modern day and pointed out everybody <laughs> in. <laughs> In, in the crowd, and she had this. I did that. She had this very, very, uh, uh, like vaudevillian's intonation of like, and that's when Justin met Brian Brushwood. Oh, that's me in the back. And then hey. everybody claps and everything. She, uh, <laughs> she remembered the moment when I left for college. And on the radio, yes, uh, fucking Green Day's "Time of Your Life" played, and she just plays on her phone like a fucking boomer the the <laughs> the song into the microphone from her phone, and it's very awkward for about ten seconds, and then everybody starts singing along with the chorus. Oh, with the chorus, it like it was. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, what, <laughs> yeah, right. What are you gonna do? <laughs> like, at a certain point, you got to admit you have the best mom. And I just have the best yeah. mom. I'm sorry. Uh, you know what? I, I don't think anybody will disagree. No, because no. also, if you don't think it's true, she'll comment happy birthday to you or how cute <laughs> your kids are on Facebook. She is like, like, like Thanos, but there's infinite uh, uh, spots for infinity stones, like in terms of her collecting surrogate children just by un. Uh, asked for praise of your life, your career, and your children on Facebook. That's apparently all she does is just tell everybody how amazing they are, and it's it's great. She has that much love to give. What's our next topic? 
airing dirty laundry. All right, all right enough of this bullshit. <laughs> Let's get into some real shit. Let's get into some real shit. Finally. I'm, I'm so mad. Go. At my neighbor. Yeah. In the words of how Mike, mad? In the words of famous troubadour Michael Television, I want to kill my neighbor's dog. Oh, oh no! shit! All right, so just so you don't say their real name, let's give them a nickname right now. Well, I don't. Jerry Pernafalis. Jerry Pernafalis is your neighbor, Perfy for short. That's right, Jerry. Perf dog. P dog. <laughs> hey, what up, P dog? So, well, no, 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 no. We, we got to scratch dog because there's another dog involved. Another dog involved. Multiple dogs involved. How many? Fucking what is I'm that? just hitting snooze every time, and oh. then eventually we'll get to the point where it rings at the right time. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, so I, I, I don't like my neighbor's dog, and you know why? Big dog, small dog. Why don't you? I like think that they're dog? medium. They're, I think she's got two. I think one's like medium, one's small. Okay, so high pitch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not even that high pitch. Uh, Give us an example. It's not about barking. It's not a barking issue. Oh! This is not a barking oh. issue. Oh! Oh! What if the dog was a turkey? What would that sound like? <laughs> uh, yeah? Uh, I guess he just killed like, himself real quick. Love, yeah. love, love. He's nailing it at the brushwood. <laughs> so she, she lives in the apartment below me. And I like to go and sit on my patio. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a southern gentleman. I like to sit on my patio. I like to go and smoke weed out there all the time. Well, I'm just a simple southern podcaster. Yes. I like to sit on my patio. I like to sit on my IKEA outer uh, furniture while I smoke weed. Uh, while I watch a little bit of the F1. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I like to watch old F1 clips <laughs> while I smoke the Chiba on my outdoor wicker furniture. Some joke. people drive to survive. I drive because I'm alive. I love it. And so <laughs> I like to wear pajamas and sit outside. <laughs> How many of y'all have glowing walls? <laughs> That's what I thought. So, and so, okay, I, I like my little patio. But she and she just moved in recently, so this is a relatively new thing. Okay. But she lets her dogs uh, do their business out on her patio. Oh no! Oh. And then just leaves it there. And that's on the. That's done. Oh. That's done. Pick it up. So it just smells like dog shit. So just dog shit bakes in, it bakes in the sun and it ruins. No, wait, my hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, paint me a picture here. You're on your. Uh, second floor porch. You're on the second floor. Is yeah. she on the first floor or is she next to you? The one below me. She's the one. Oh, so it rises. So it rises. It rises. Yeah. Brian, it have, rises. I have a suggestion. Please. Yeah. Three gorilla pods, three laser pointers. Just set them up on the rail, and just whenever you see a shit, just leave it on all night long. Go to bed. She's going to get up in the middle of the night just and vaporize wonder, the shit. No, no. She's going to wonder why the predator is targeting this dog, dog shit. shit. <laughs> and just like let her know she's been seen. Uh, Letting a dog take a dump on the lawn. So you. It sounds a little threatening. So you, you, you your, your idea here is through humiliation, yep. theatrical humiliation. Yep. She will change her behavior. Or become the Chancellor of Germany. <laughs> or become the <laughs> Chancellor of Germany. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. Okay. Good crake. Put that on the list. <laughs> we'll put that one on the list. But it's 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 what what do I do about this? Because I don't I don't I don't I don't I'm not I'm not Well I, we have one course of action. <laughs> <laughs> I have a second course of action. Please, All Brad, right. Course please. of action the second. Please. Um I think that you should start with 80 pounds of thermite. Okay. No. <laughs> what? No. Save it. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's a little tough to do. But, it, you know, it's it's ruining my spot. She's ruin My spot's being ruined, y'all. She blew up your spot? So, all right. Okay, okay, it, okay. It, and, and it's because it smells like dog shit. But it smells like fucking dog shit. Uh, Probably a little bit like... Right, hold on, wait, but before, before we go any further, Bryce... How would you describe your sensitivity to smells in general on a scale from zero to 10? Are you a sensitive smeller or are you like kind of a dead nosed motherfucker? Uh, 
I'm I'm pretty insensitive to smells. I would say I'm a two or a three. So so a it's gotta sensitive. be really fucking rank. Yeah. Yeah. For you. And if it's outside, that's really fucking rank. Yeah, yeah. Especially like outside compared to the rest of wide open creation on the other side, right? Like it's a dog. dog so with, okay, what it, are you more comfortable with? Are you more comfortable with the direct approach? Or the Ooh. passive aggressive. Oh, uh, let's do that second I, I one. I like that. How about theatrical way. humiliation? <laughs> yes. Uh, I would say name let's, it shame. Let's get a custom order of one hundred um, uh, of those flags that surveyors use. Yep. That just say OMG, it's poop. And then every time it's there, you just plant All one right. of those. Oh, oh yeah. an an another logistics question. But then are, are, are these porch areas enclosed by anything? They they are enclosed, and I cannot reach her. I so you cannot you no just like reach. throw a bunch of dog shit baggies on our on our port. Okay, so now we need like a sniper yeah. rifle that fires these. A, uh, an entire uh, rifle through <laughs> the a through rifle. the mesh. Yes, <laughs> yeah, goes through, and it just is a flag unfurls, and we're like, OMG, shit. Um, I did think like, what if I got stickers made that said, I. I don't know. So, something that I could like vandalize her door. I guess that's not a good idea that my first idea was to vandalize her door with this. Okay. That said, yeah. I yeah. Let's, shit di let's turns dial on it my, back. Turns on my no, door. Let's, let's reset the counter. I, let's, I'm angry. let's, let's pick from, I know we've picked a lot from the basket of weird sociopathic behavior, <laughs> but let's, let's go to the realm of supreme diplomatic behavior. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. If, you wanted to be incredibly diplomatic. What you would do is go down there, introduce. Have you introduced yourself to her? No, I have not. Yeah. You would go down, introduce oh. yourself to her, and say, What's hey. next? Keep a secret for two months? <laughs> <laughs> and you would say, and I never realized how much we were two different parts of the inside out head than <laughs> right now. Uh, <laughs> You would go down and you would say, hi, I'm Bryce. I'm your upstairs neighbor. I just want to let you know whenever, if you ever need anything, if you want to leave me an extra key or something, or if I can leave an extra key at your place, a lot of neighbory shit, right? Uh -huh. uh, I bought you this bottle of wine. Here yeah. you go. Oh, wow. And then yeah. you can say, oh, look at this. Oh, these adorable dogs. Amazing. Uh, uh, How much you know, do they shit? You know, you know. I, I, I'm almost embarrassed telling you, but uh, I, I think love. one of them took a little poopy outside over last night. Don't say that you've been smelling it for weeks. For weeks. Like, like it took a little poop outside because I could smell it from my place. Mm -hmm. So it's a subtle element of letting her know that it is something on your radar. Just, just And just now your friends, you're more willing to do a favor for a friend than mm -hmm. somebody who sociopathically points out your mistakes. Just so we're clear. Yeah. Everything you said in your mind yeah. could pass for subtle. What do you mean subtle? It's it, it's new neighbor shit. That's well, that's what you said is is say all those things yeah. and then subtly say you dog to good hey, dog. Hey, speaking I of dog turns. Yeah. <laughs> but after hey, we live in the same building. Hey, the landlord's a real piece of work, am I right? Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that there's hey, you know, you use the other laundry machine because the one's haunted, blah blah blah. Like like just like all the shit you would normally talk about with a neighbor, and then at the end. That one little thing of like, hey, like, I don't... And there's it, just one more There's thing. just one more thing. And that is, I think your dog might have taken a shit outside because I could smell it. But so, that, that, so they're not, they're not going to think that this was all entirely orchestrated because of that last thing. But why no. not? Uh, what, Bryce, uh, uh, is it a case where they took the dog on the walk and they knew the dog was shitting there and then they just didn't pick it up or is it a case where they let the dog outside this is a this is a concrete patio about the size of this desk we are oh. not talking about like the front gr a grass space no they don't want to walk the dog so they let the dog outside and then take a shit and instead of bagging it up and throwing it outside or throwing it somewhere in their house they just leave it out there and they assume Eh, I'll wait till it dries. They'll be easier to pick up. I'll pick a bunch of them up at the same time, and then I'll throw them away. Yeah. So I, I it's have, it's lazy shit. It's lazy shit. It's That's lazy right. shit. I have an alternate please uh, suggestion. Oh, please, I need it. I, okay. I think I think but, I'm, so, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't want to interrupt you, but but just Bryce, so we can we can run through my scenario before. Yes. Uh, uh, 
if you were, thank God that alarm went off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Bryce, if you were just to role play, if we're going to role yeah. play that, I'm the neighbor yeah. and you are Bryce. Okay. Uh, uh, let, let, let's, just, let's just do just the end of that conversation. We're already getting along famously. Already, okay, I don't need to knock yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, oh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thank God. Everyone else in this building seems so uptight. Yeah. I'm glad that I'm glad that we met. Thank you again for the Pinot Grigio. Yeah, okay. I am too glad that we met. Uh, it's me, her partner. Yeah, this is my partner, yeah. James. James. <laughs> uh, 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 we live together, and both of us love our dogs. I, yeah. I, I love the drums. I play them at night. That's I you, haven't James. set up my kit yet, though. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God, he and loves you, drums and but dogs. You don't have the kit. And dogs. Precious. That's and, her name. And aren't they? And aren't they so precious? They are. They sure they are. are. They're it, perfect in every way. But you know what? Like sometimes, what's precious to me sometimes. What's is, that? Is like my space. <laughs> uh, have you ever had your space be precious? Oh my God. That's oh, yeah. why we moved here. Are remember? We, we are very precious about space. That's we, uh, uh, we, we're very precious. You know, the you know, the 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 optics, right? The audible elements, the uh, the olfactory elements of it. Uh-huh. That's what we told the cops. <laughs> James. Well, <laughs> this is Bryce, our new neighbor. He should know why we left Arkansas. All right. We're on the run. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, uh, don't call us by our real names. Uh, as far as Johnny Law knows, I'm Zelda, and he's James. Boy Zelda. <laughs> James Boy Zelda. That's right. Hold on. Could you imagine talking to the cops and be like, they told me their names were Zelda. <laughs> and boy, boy Zelda. Zelda. <laughs> boy Zelda. James. We're big okay. video game I'm fans. <laughs> I love it. You, you were talking about how good it about, is. And, and, I, neighbors. Just, and yeah. I love it. You know, have you? Oh, and do you? Oh, do you, do you, do you smell something? Do you just? Oh. Oh, I ripped one. <laughs> oh, okay. I think he maybe, does that. Yeah, okay. I guess maybe that's because I Boy was smelling... Zelda cut a gasser. Because <laughs> I was smelling something Boy more like Zelda a... Zelda cut a gasser. <laughs> I think it smells more like a like a like a like a like a like a dog like, like dirt dog. weed like dirt shit weed that gets smoked on the you know porch. What? I'm so glad. I am so proud yeah. of you, Zelda. Yeah, me, boy, Zelda. Yeah, boy, we've been Zelda. meeting to talk about. I Tell gotta go. We go out on the patio. I gotta and go. We smell the devil's weed uh -huh. all over the place. <laughs> I'm just what trying is to going sniff even my on? dog shit, and you're ruining it. <laughs> I'm go. sorry, but you had something you wanted to bring up. Damn, motherfucker, this is about to be Arkansas one more time. <laughs> I mean, look, yeah, get the go bag. Let's go. All right. Let's go. We're killing this motherfucker, no, boy no, Zelda. No! <laughs> It'll go great. All right. Well, I'll try. I'm going to be, you're going to be boy Metroid in Guadalajara. <laughs> <sighs> I think that went well. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll solve it. Yeah. Do we have another, or should I wait for the alarm to go off? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do have some more topics. All right, go! let's go. Let's go. Alive to tell the tale. Holy shit. Uh, look, there's, there's quote unquote danger, and then there's capital D danger. And um, we, we did a Monorogue episode where the only clue people had was a photograph of how we tried to cut down or how we successfully cut down a tree. Yeah. And internet sleuths are smart and they're able to tell from the burn marks and from the wedges of the cuts and all that. And it's like, all we did was post a photo, maybe, maybe a video with a flash of the stump. And they were like, this is irresponsible and you should go to jail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that was my clue that maybe we should do a different type of Monorogue episode. Uh, so instead of us being dipshits and eventually getting it right. You mean alongside? Uh, alongside. <laughs> uh, we took a 20 minute so, video. So but hold on, hold on, hold on. So normally yes. a modern rogue episode is, uh, warts, hey, warts uh, and all. What, what happens if we throw firecrackers into a pool of gas? Correct. And then it Turns explodes out it and fire. it's like, this is so much bigger than we thought it was going to be. Correct. And yeah. it's that controlled chaos that makes the, the channel special. This was something for which people 
immediately realized was more high uh, uh, stakes than the normal modern rogue thing. And so instead of just releasing the video where you would do something and be surprised by the results, you realize there had to be a little sheen on top of it. We have been producing content with Brant Hughes. This is our third decade of doing it. Yeah. This is the first time Brant said, hey, could you guys come in to the office for a moment? I didn't even know he did this. Yes. I, 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 I just learned that it happened at some point. <laughs> and uh, he did it on his, on his own. It's great. And so we watched the 20 minute video and I believe it was three hours of patient explanation of just how dangerous what we had done was. Yeah. Uh, that- so it's, it's now a over an hour long episode. Jesus. <laughs> okay. on, on the modern rogue channel. And you could see us at the beginning being very flippant about like whatever tree went down. Am I right? So, so it is your own let's watch. Yep. Of a uh, video, yep. but it's the first release of the video. All yeah. the while, Brant, unbelievably patient and saying things like, well, I can understand why you would do that, but let me explain this. And then, like, around the 40-minute mark, you could see me defeated, and, like, there's, like, one or two moments that Jason makes a joke, and I'm, and, and I'm just like, just don't. We, we did a bad. We, 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 we <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> and this was because you had a tree that had dropped a shit ton of branches during the ice storm. And Correct. you were trying to just clear just the rest of it. Eliminate it. Right. Yeah. Uh, and it turns out that logging, a little bit, not dangerous, but deadly. Yeah. That's right. Uh, not that, And Brant Br- makes a great point of that. Not dangerous, deadly. People die doing this. Yeah. It also usually takes them. Well, and, and you, there's that hours less. There's that curious moment where you think to yourself, like, okay, so we did a bad uh, in one timeline. We could just never release this. Right. We could yeah. just decide it didn't happen. I mean, the tree fell down. Nobody got hurt. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, there's another timeline where we could release it and, you know, put a bunch of on screen, like, make sure not to do it this way. Do it the right way. But then there's this timeline where we just make an hour-long video a documentary of about you owning. cutting down a tree wrong yeah well and and brant goes into like and because brant has uh, the unique point of view of being somebody <laughs> who has for, for, watched for, for, for those <laughs> uh, brian is brian is up <laughs> trying to jungle book fucking kick the tree over God. because brant <laughs> has <laughs> been there <laughs> uh, for a very long time he, he was able to bring up stuff like, I've watched Brian a little bit, and I have seen when Brian loses control of, of, of uh, all of the planned things and things go awry. Uh, it, was, it was an extraordinarily kind thing that Brant did that allowed us to frame this episode in a way that was responsible, pointed out everything we did wrong, uh, but, but also kept the... Uh, the joyful didn't, didn't, spirit didn't lose the 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 the, the bullshit which the dip, is the, the dip shittery right yeah. yeah the dip shittery is definitely there yeah. yeah um everybody please go follow emergent beacon on youtube brant yeah. did an amazing job with this mm-hmm. uh, it, i <laughs> i can't, i i don't know it's it's the the various circumstances that got him to like editing this episode in particular and the way it came out are so great i could not have even imagined it being this good and it's great uh, and it's shot on the Great Night set, so you know it's a real dangerous one. <laughs> we, 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 like, we started to defend ourselves, and then the moment I saw Brant Hughes cross his arms, I knew I was in trouble. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, at any rate, uh, I think my alarm's about to go off again. There it is. Uh, Founders Day! Hey! hey! It's uh, Founders Day. The theme song. Everybody shows up to get along. It's Founders Day. You know it's in May. Just kidding. It's in April first. Not a fooler. <laughs> yep. Uh, we're down to the last few tickets. Uh, I'm, I'm going to start teasing out so, some ideas that we have uh, because it looks like uh, uh, it's uh, last year we had to make up for like what two it was like three years because like we took everybody's money and then didn't have it and then yeah the pandemic was happening and then we didn't have it and so as a result well, it was I mean, like, that was also the first reason why it didn't happen uh, correct but yeah turns out it, pandemic it kept, it kept, kept on going it kept right? demicking 
Uh, yes, correct. Uh, and, and, and so we had a lot of catching up to do. This time we get to be a lot more intimate. I have one secret idea I'm holding back, but I am willing to divulge that one, divulge, of, divulge. one of the features is going to be uh, the game is called Skull. It's a bluffing game. It's dead simple. Anybody can play it, and everybody will at Founders Day. We're going to have a trophy at the end. Nobody gets to know what the because, trophy looks wait, like. But, but, but what's the trophy for? Uh, well, because we're going to have a tournament. Oh! Everybody who's there gets to play, and, and we're going to try to spread out all of the... No, no, no. Uh, no, no? No, oh, no, no. What? I mean, like, technically, everybody gets to... Everybody there. Everybody gets to play. Right. Nobody but me is going to win. Okay. What I'm saying is that oh, I am no. guaranteeing you are not. Oh, no. right now no, you're oh, not. Wow. that I am the winner of this tournament. What? And if any fool believes that they oh, can no. be the winner of this tournament and not me, then I will personally hand that person a crispy or whatever's in my wallet hundred dollar bill <laughs> right? i will give that person a hundred dollar bill and guess what it ain't gonna happen because i'm the best skull player of all time well, hey nobody got my skull skills i am the skull duggery master <laughs> and i'm gonna take home that trophy I yeah pause on everything uh, Jacob made a terrible threat that horrifies me. He said, wouldn't it be great if you won? And I'm like, no, that'd be terrible because it's my party on my property and the game I picked and the tournament I'm Oh my God, up. you'd have to spend all day playing Skull instead of doing your shows. Well, no, no, no. But, but, but more importantly, it's like how what a bad look it would be if it's like, oh, Great leader won <laughs> tournament that great leader created. So like you that, bought yourself something. No, right. no, no. I, 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 I look. It's very presumptive to say that you're going to win when we know Justin's going to win. Yeah. Well, I yeah. Because it's because okay, it's obvious that I'm going to win. What the fuck is happening? Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, wait, 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 what the, what's happening? I have self confidence now. This is what somebody with self confidence says. Do you know what? Ask. You just flipped me because I was thinking like I didn't want to win. I wanted to wash out early on, but you're sitting here talking like you can win this thing. There's no fucking way. I can out bluff you five. I fooled you, motherfucker. You didn't even know about your birthday. You forgot what your birthday was. How about that? Yeah. That's adorable. You're doing great, honey. Oh, oh, oh $100 no. to anybody. If anybody beats me, I will personally hand you $100. Oh my God. We're I'm gonna, the we're, greatest we're skull player of shit. all time. Enjoy Teddy Confetti, are you in now. on this shit? I'm going to enjoy that $100. Are That's you going to play? I'm, of course I'm going to play. It's not, not legally a purse. This is not betting. This is not gambling. We're not doing that. I, no, this is me. I believe it's legal. To have a get on in. Come on down to Founders Day. Come on down to Founders Day. Lose to me and Skull. Oh, we will all join There's around. No way. I will hold up the trophy and we will all say, this was preordained by God in unison. Oh, okay. And then, all right. and, and I can't I'll, believe you did this. You just made me actually pocket. want to try to win. Okay. Well, that's good for you. Good for for you. Oh, all right. Good for all Brian. Right. I believe good in the for you, Brent. Has a good for you. What does he do? Good I believe for you. you can have a cash prize for a tournament, you. and Come it's not here. gambling. It's a game of skill. It's a game of skill. It's also not gonna. I'm not gonna personally pay out a hundred dollars because you because think I'm you're going to win. win. I am gonna win, and so. When that happens, we will all hold up the trophy. We will all chant in unison. This was preordained by God. Okay. And that and that'll be that. You do all realize right? next week the the post show has to be us doing a practice round of, of skulls so I can show no. you no. how bad you're no. gonna be. No. No. I don't nope. I don't fuck for free. Jesus. No, I'm saving myself for the tournament. <laughs> I'll give you twenty bucks. <laughs> All right. 20 now bucks, we're 20 bucks. Now we're talking. You know what? That's that's a good segue <laughs> into patreon.com <laughs> slash great night. That's how you keep us loud, live, and independent with your own RSS feed access to the super secret Bones podcast, Bear. which is now nothing but shit talking about skull. So now we have bones and skull. I'm not shitting. I'm not shit talking, man. Well, no, because you're it's a, a skeleton. Promise. It's a promise. Skeletons can't shit. That's sign. I thought you were going to say skeletons can't make promises. <laughs> they can't do that either. I'm sorry, Justin. You thought he was going to forward the bit? <laughs>
<laughs> you thought Patreon.com <laughs> slash great. You thought night. these guys were going to forward the bid? <laughs> uh, also, uh, founders.scamstuff.com if you want to come join us. Uh, only like 10 tickets left. That's it. Uh, yeah. No. And if you want to have a shot to uh, uh, to lose. Win $100. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, I'd like to take the party back now, please. Can we... Maybe, oh, maybe the prize could be oh, like, uh, like, like ten thousand oh, dollars of movie cash, where it's like it's it's definitely ten thousand dollars. That would be cash. another good prize and for me. Your hundred. No, 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 no. Because no, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna win that. You'll buy me ten thousand dollars in movie cash. This is gonna get real. Because I was thinking, like, we'll spread around all the podcast hosts to different tables for the seat. We'll, we'll have Mitzula set up yeah. a, a, a March Madness. Sure, yeah. Whatever you want. The first hand. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to win. Fuck you. And <laughs> I'm going to Fuck you. raise the trophy fucking, above my head. It. We started and in unison. Let's all, let's all test it. This was this preordained by God. God. That might be my first tattoo. I'm making it as a chess piece. It's on the internet. This you was preordained by God. And then on my tummy, it just says, yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a human meme. You'll become a human <laughs> bot, top tech bottom You're tech. You're going to do it in impact font. <laughs> all cats. <laughs> and with, with, with the lady yelling at a cat eating salad. <laughs> Bryce, we got a game. Hey, we got a game. This is, uh, I want to make sure I get this. Uh, yes, Will D. Thank you to Will D. Who stole this from Rob Manuel on Twitter. Uh, this is a little game I call Pig or Fault. Pig or Fall? Font. Font. Pig or, pig or fawn? Pig like, or fawn? Like a young deer? Like a, like a, a, like a typeface. Like a character. A Wait, font. Would yeah. be a typeface? Is it is it font just the name for the software and typeface is what actually gets printed out? Here's your bonus oh, point. Wow. Okay. You Artist guy in the room. Point. Hey. One point for Brian. Hey. There it is. Print it down. <laughs> it's too bad EK's not here. She could have gotten all of this in one go. Oh, sure. Uh, so it turns out that uh, the names of species of pigs and the names of fonts are pretty similar. <laughs> I'm going to give you a name. You're going to tell me, is it a pig or is it a font? Okay. Thank you, Bob. More, more, more like typography. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's really good. That's yeah. actually not that's bad. Really yeah. good. Uh, for, Kate, Kate, Caitlin Phoenix. Oh uh, uh, for the rules, we don't need to give credit to the chat. But I want to give one to Caitlin. I know, yeah. I know. But, but I came up with it too because <laughs> he's winning it. But also, it like the, uh, when you read it, you those came the rules. No, just... I came up with it before she did. But like you know, yeah, yeah. No, it was nice Tip that she doff, reminded you a doff yeah. of the cap, okay. a doff of the cap. Right. Sure. That's right. A yeah. Dolph? A Dolph of the a cap. Dolph is Lundgren nice. of the yeah. cap. A, a Dolph, Dolph Lundgren Dolph. of the cap. Yeah. That's right. If you if you tip your punisher. hat like at the weight of Ivan Drago, it's yeah. a Dolph of the cap. Yep. <laughs> That's right. So I'm gonna give you one, you're gonna tell me if it's three a three or in theaters this Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, do you mind keeping score? I do not mind. Would you like to play? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, Justin, we're gonna start with you on this one. Yeah. Is it a pig or a font? Beijing black. Oh, that's not complicated. Beijing black. Beijing bat black. Is that a pig or? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm bringing Beijing, Beijing black. <laughs> well, I was, okay. Beijing black. Is that a pig or a font? Baby got Beijing black. Is it a pig or is it a typeface? Are you, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Just keep singing songs, or is this is this your strategy for skull? Is this how you're gonna win? <laughs> oh my god, it is! <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Brian, we never won. On. Never won. I would never reveal my vaunted <laughs> decades honed skull strategy <laughs> on such a, a a stage as this. I need, wow. I, I'm a high oh, wow. tier. I'm a high tier competitor. High tier competitor. We gonna keep singing songs? Yeah. Okay. So, but you go for and say, I'm a high. Uh, then I'll. We'll, I'm a high, high tier, tier competitor. 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 <laughs> so we're doing the Beastie Boys. Yeah. Song. No. But I thought you were gonna do tier. No. 
No, 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 isn't no, no, it no, like, no. like like it's it, it, it's high, another high one. planes planes yeah drift, no but there's three drift, of them drift, drift. yeah so uh, I think I think they do the yeah, like, right, it's you like in try again uh, back to one all right ready <clears throat> yeah but but you do tears okay <clears throat> right. I'm a high high planes plane. no no oh, sorry no I'm just singing the song I'm a high high. Oh. Tear. No, that's what they do. They they say the same word after the other but one. There that was three of them, so they alternated. Oh. Okay, Jeff, you're gonna have to join us. No, you do both. <laughs> <laughs> Beijing black is a pig. Beijing black is a pig. You're yeah. gonna say a pig. What do you think, Brian? Beijing. I think it's a pig. You think that's a pig? <laughs> All right. That ends up being a pig. Yeah. Cause it's a high, high planes, planes, drifter, drifter, <laughs> and I'm a drifter. drifter. Okay, we got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you'll get it one day. All right, here's another one. Brian got me two Beastie Boys books for my birthday. It was, oh. it was a very oh. meaningful moment. No, I, I remember when he opened them, and then the next day no, said, you, "Hey, somebody gave me Beastie Boys no, books." No, somebody. <laughs> So fucking number one, you didn't write your goddamn name on the thing. Number two, <laughs> the my wife, well, right, my first wife, of all, I my had wife fucking him. bullied me to. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> See, you can blame my wife. You're blaming my wife right now. <laughs> all of this is so on brand. Uh, 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 yeah, no, my wife was like, "Oh, we didn't open them last night. Open them now." And I'm like, "Like it not in front of anybody?" She's like, "Just get them off the fucking table." And I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> this is very on brand. <laughs> All right, Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Ready. Tell me about Grand John. Is that a pig or a font? Grand John. Grand John okay, or maybe right, Grand right, right, John. Right, right. Walk through it. Grand uh, 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 either refer to it as a hog farmer taking a sow to market sure. or a, uh, uh, a feet Brooklyn hipster talking about why this movie poster is impactful. I'm going to go with the latter. Okay. It's like the thing you have to understand about. Uh, okay. First of all, yes, it technically is going bananas, but with hipsters. But this one, like the, the poster depicts <laughs> a <Lord>. dude jerking <laughs> off on the Empire State Building. And there, at the bottom, in Grand John font, it says, watch out, it's raining. <laughs> That's actually good. It's raining men. You raining landed. men. You landed. You okay. landed. Okay. Oh, yeah, you, landed. you got you a little dice. I was, I, was, I was not buying it. And by the end, 100%. <laughs> okay, all right. 100%. It's, it's, it's a font. It's Grand John font. It's a sans serif with a bit of a motif. Uh, it's evocative of... Uh, late era Bauhaus. Right. Oh That's no. Uh oh. Oh no. He puts his cat back. Right? <sighs> well, you know, um, we had uh, good success with Grand John sows. Good pigs. <laughs> Strong pigs. Good breeders. Grand John. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Did you just compliment yourself by saying good breeders? I'm talking about the sow. <laughs> Talk about the sow. But I say I wasn't talking about <laughs> Right. Okay. So the, I the, feel like it has legs. <laughs> they this, both character, like. <laughs> this character's got I'm it's sorry, going I, I, I missed your name when we introduced. I, I just responded to the Craigslist ad. Uh, I, I'm Brian. Your name is. Farmer pig. <laughs> Farmer pig. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got a bit of a wild side. <laughs> <laughs> talk but, about talk about my 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 various type of. Talk about styles. your wild side because I'm suddenly yeah. realizing I don't know which Craigslist ad I responded to. <laughs> Was it for the Grand John? <laughs> sure. Would you mind explaining? Because that's only one of them. <laughs> Name four others. <laughs> M4M. <laughs> Drugs. Knock knock jokes. <laughs> Grand John. <laughs> oh, wait. I already mentioned that one. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, that was it. 
<laughs> Can we start knock knock just on just some random no, like? No, go ahead. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Farmer Pig. <laughs> Farmer Pig. Who? Want to buy a Grand John? <laughs> You know what? I got them for sale. It's starting. To, it's starting to make sense now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I like. I like to mix my interests. We're, we're gonna have to consider it. I'll, uh-huh. I'll talk to my wife. I'll be back. Oh, you talk to your wife? <laughs> Never. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Another sale not made. <laughs> what? That's the last time I go to this farm. <laughs> You're the it's farmer. Your farm. No, Where's I'm at. No, I, I imagine myself at some kind of farm collective or something like that. Like a, a market. Yeah. A but, market. But, I'm but, at a market. I'm at a market. But, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm at a market. That's the last time I come we, to this we market. We definitely established that I was responding to a Craigslist well, ad. I could have told you to meet me at the market. <laughs> Why would yeah. you, ain't, you don't have to be so so weird. Okay. Uh, listen, I have So a do you problem. want to buy the Grand John or, okay, or listen, just I, or just or just criticize my improv? I will buy however many <laughs> Grand Johns you want. You want to buy a Grand John? I style? have one condition. Good breeders. I have, I have a friend of mine whose dog keeps pooping while he's trying to smoke weed on the porch. Oh, that is devilish. <laughs> Put a pin in that. I will. <laughs> Bryce? The question is Grand John, <laughs> and it's to Justin. Justin, is a Grand John a pig or a fawn? Oh, it's a pig. You're going to say it's a pig? Now that I've, now that Good I've inhabited the, uh, the character of Farmer Pig, I feel like <laughs> a Grand John's a pig. <laughs> not the most. We're not great at names. <laughs> hey, sometimes simple's better. Yeah. Sometimes simple's better. Well, and that's, uh, that's something that... Farmer Oil of a man's heart. Farmer is pig is, is Farmer time. Pig just the last name, or is it a first and last, or is it like a hype? We'll name? find out in the sequel, Quantumania. <laughs> <laughs> Farmer Pig and the Wasp. And the Wasp. The All wasp right. It's just a harpy of a wife. Farmer Pig, are you out there no, trying to sell that just, red just, just a literal wasp. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. We were looking for. A font. Hey. That's a font. That's a point for Children Brian. Of men. It's raining men. That was the joke. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Children of men, everybody. Children of men is the children of men, everybody. Of all of the people. No, but I really bought it. I really bought your hipster when you said in Grand John font. <laughs> I've definitely heard that. I know enough font hipsters in my life. I've heard that shit. There we go. All right, Justin, we're gonna start with you on this one. Yep. Ashtanga. Is that a pig or a font? Ashtanga. Oh, no. That, oh, no. Uh, knock, knock, knock. Well, knock, hello, knock, knock. come oh. in. Hi. Uh, we're not really city folk. Uh, we, uh-huh. we, 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 you're we just not saw... really. Uh, you're more from the country. Well, uh, that's where I'm from. We, we... My name is Farmer Pig. <laughs> okay. Uh, Y'all looking to buy a few sounds? Well, uh, we I got a couple on offer. Like what? Ash tangas. Oh, this is awkward. I was actually responding to the M for M ad. Mm. To be totally honest, Sailor, <laughs> these are really just lead generators so I could offload <laughs> these sounds. <laughs> what I found is that Randy men on the internet are <laughs> the most prominent pig purchasers I could possibly find. So while I do apologize <laughs> profusely oh for the bait and switch, <laughs> I want to let you know that I take PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Spotify pay. <laughs> Spotify. What about that's where you just sing a song, and if I like it, I give you an ash tanger. I, you know what? You've convinced me. I, I think we both agree. It's definitely a pig. <laughs> You're both gonna say ash is a pig. Yeah. We were looking for a fault. Ah, rats. This farmer pig's a piece of shit. <laughs> Selling a bill of goods. He is. Yeah. All right. Here's one for you. And we're going to start. Oh, actually, after four rounds, 
Three rounds. Three rounds. What is the score, Brett? The score is, Brian, you have two points. Justin only has one. Oh. Mm. Mm. A one-point font would be mighty small. <laughs> Absolutely true. Oh, yeah, two-point font. Bigger. Yeah. More impressive. Twice. Twice. Stronger. Twice. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. Strong like pig. <laughs> Brian, we're starting with you instead of that character. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> tell me about Bray Tovo. Bray Tovo. Is that a pig or a font? Bray Tovo. Roll over, Bray Tovo. Tell Tchaikovsky the news. That is, that is such an awful name that I don't believe that any font designer would use it. And I think it's a pig. All right, he's going to say a pig. What about you, Justin? Bray Tovo. Oh, oh yeah, the there it is. Oh, no. Well, it's just me. I'm opening up InDesign. <laughs> <laughs> click, 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 click. <laughs> because I'm designing my zine. Uh, uh, illustrator. Maybe it's fine. No, I'm old school. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, all right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Who sorry, are you? No, I'm, I'm, I was just tired <laughs> to help you. I normally just manage your pigs, but but, but I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm just here at design. the WeWork. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. I'm trying to design my zine. Okay. My and name is Farmer Pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm familiar. I'm literally at your house right now. I guess we're just denying the fact that I set the scene at a WeWork five seconds ago. Oh, I I I, I thought you meant you were logged in at a WeWork. Uh, that was a test, and you passed. <laughs> Here we are at the wheel. Anyway, <laughs> do you like the design of my zine? Uh, why? Why is every other letter? Some are sans serif. Some are serif. Explain. Explain your thought process. I like to keep people off balance. Yeah. Okay. You You've certainly done that. Um. What I really want you to see is this. Swipe, swipe, swipe. <laughs> Look at the cover. It's a gigantic Beethoven phone that says, Buy my pig. <laughs> uh, well, that's weird because it's Britovo, but. Sorry, are you from New York? <laughs> Here I, I am, in the actually. country, we call it. Beethoven. <laughs> I've I've lost track of whether what any of us think the answer is. I believe it's a font. So we agree. Actually, you said pig about five <laughs> minutes ago, and we I, will have to keep that guess. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about it. I think we found out how Brian could keep the secret. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like but everyone Brian to keep a secret tell them something you desperately Here want the nuclear codes don't tell them to anyone okay <laughs> yeah uh, anyway here's the trailer for the next last of us cool <laughs> there we go already uh one of you said font Brian said pig we were looking for pig yeah! whale Brian. rats now you're farmer pig my name is Farmer Pig, but I also have a passion for topography. Oh. Uh, <laughs> ser 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 serifs or non serifs? Well, no, it really just depends okay, all right. on, on what you're using it for. Sans serifs, I find to be a bit dry. I like them big old dangly serifs. Just Flipping all hither and yon all over the page, wandering like the daffodils in spring. Uh, lightning round. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a gig. Okay. Tell me, serif or non serif? Okay. Rap album cover. Sans serif. Constitution. Serif. State constitution. Sans serif. <laughs> Twitter. Sans serif. Uh, Twitter. Serif. <laughs> Just all right. It's going to work. I can't think of enough things that you would use typography for. Me neither. Yeah. 
I don't know. If next I time, next time we'll do this, this bit, and, and I'll mention movies, and you can. Pick I don't even want to be here anymore. <laughs> I just want to be eaten alive by my I pigs. I just want to fall backwards into my pigs and get eaten by, I don't know, I don't know what name of a pig <laughs> it would be. Bryce, what's the next word? <laughs> <laughs> All right, our next round is... Rockwell. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> is that a pig or a font? I think we're going to start with uh, Farmer Pig on this I one. I believe that it's a pig. For real? Well, I know that... Uh, first time I saw a rock whale, big belly, got a snout like a motorcycle. I said, hey there, rock whale, what are your dreams? And it said, <laughs> and I said, wow, the beauty of the world is multifaceted, and God has no end to his treasures that he gives to us. Rockwell is the greatest <laughs> pig that's ever lived and ever will live. I love Rockwell, <laughs> and so should you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Farmer Pig says pig. Rockwell. Not just that type of pig, but one specific <laughs> just pig. One. That was a very weird choice <laughs> for that scene work. <laughs> uh, I believe it's a font. You believe it's a font? Why do you think it's a font? Uh, mainly because I've used it, and it's mm, it's it's a kind of serify, but it's got the blocky corners on it. It's Rockwell. All right. Well, we were looking extra bold. Four. That's right. The font. Oh well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who did I marry? <laughs> 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 That'll do, Rockwell. <laughs> That'll do. All right. After five rounds, Brett, what is our score? It looks like Justin has not jumped into the lead with one point, and Brian has continued and extended his lead of four points. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. The big winner is is, is the character of Farmer Pig. <laughs> big. <laughs> big, yeah, big hit so far. Such an enigma. It's a big hit. With the, the critics are raving. The they love are... Farmer Pig. They're all raving. Farmer Dude. Pig is the family hit of the season. And your kids might be doing <laughs> it. Sassy girl <laughs> boy lawyer. Pig Farmer. All right, that's our final round here. This is going to be our six-point round, so it's still anybody's game. Uh, we're going to start with Brian on this one because he's in the lead here. Brian, ready? we go to you. Tell me about Manahama. Is that a pig or a font? Oh, that's a pig. Man, uh, you, you ever met a Manahama in the forest? <clears throat> Psych. They don't live in the forest. No, they don't. <laughs> Where do they live, Farmer Pig? Soho. <laughs> uh, they like to run around the city oh, uh, okay. Stepping on the seats in the subway Just with a devil may care attitude Saying we're Monahama pigs I don't agree with your laws <laughs> They're anarchists Well, you know, they wouldn't call themselves that it's What would they so call passe. themselves? <laughs> what would they call themselves? They just call themselves Living life. <laughs> and uh, that's what I admire about a Monahama pig. Monahama. Harry um, or not Harry? Shaved smooth. <laughs> shaved smooth. Uh, oh. uh, 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 black or pink? Boop. Pants. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a pig, though. Oh. First time I saw a monohama <laughs> pig, it was spitting down on the sidewalk in the Bowery saying, fuck this racetrack. <laughs> I ain't working here no more. And I said, monohama pig, why the attitude? And it said, I'm sick of the man. <laughs> Always putting me down, telling me I can't be nothing, thinking that because I'm from an old farm that I'm going to be your slave. <laughs> well, f 
fuck you. And I said, language. And he said, I ain't here to tell you the story of my life. I'm here to tell you that I'm not going to take it no more. My name is Mana Hama Pig, and I'm going to be the president of the United <laughs> States one day. And I believed in it. And I will be here right now to announce my endorsement for Mana Hama Pig for president <laughs> of these United Ladies States. Ladies and gentlemen, Mana Hama Pig! I'm a fun. <laughs> uh, no, I, wait, we can't. I guess we both agree it's a pig. I don't know. I got lost in the monologue. No, I, I was there. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean just, you just, got lost. Get, just kidding. It's a fawn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got two different answers here. Justin said font, Brian said pig. <laughs> That's right. He also forgot that one. About Ariel. <laughs> Her and Helvetica look a lot alike. <laughs> All right, we've got one answer for font, one answer for pig. Brian, I'm gonna take your answer of pig, and I'm gonna drop it down our answer hole. Three, two, one. Nobody uh, saw that coming. Nope. Font, baby. Font time. Holy shit. That was not your real accent? N well, that's Farmer Pig. It's a different character. So, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm the real player in this game. The guy Justin who's going to win the Young. skull. And that's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. All of you plebeians are going to be grists for the mill. <laughs> and I'm the mill. The skull <laughs> mill. You're all grist to me because I'm the king of the skulls. Skull man, they call me. I, like, I'm a mega man villain. <laughs> but I'm one you'll never beat because my game is skull and I won't be dull when I'm I beat every last one of you fools. Founders.scamstuff.com. Hey, Brad. Yes. Did we learn anything? We uh, learned. Well, oh, wait. Uh, just, sorry, just we really quickly. Think. Just yeah. sorry. Sure, just, sure. I, I'm just trying to do this new thing here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you want, if you have a game idea, question, comment, anything you want to send in to us, please send it to our email, greatnightpod at gmail.com or check the show notes or wherever you're enjoying this. Thank you. I got emotional at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think if it was a pig or a font. <laughs> Brad, what did we learn? We have learned that there are many stories <laughs> about fonts and hogs. Oh, it's been a and great that you night. should listen only to farm a pig when it comes to that. True, yeah. We have learned that when it comes to birthday parties, Justin can really only be surprised if he's really high and we've learned that you, you didn't Brian write the rest of this beauty haired person and that's all I got <laughs> you know what I too got lost in the monologues of Farmer Pig uh, uh, look uh, wonderful weekend what an amazing adventure yeah, incredible incredible and uh, what, we're, we're going to see all the Bay Area folks tomorrow night. Tomorrow? In San we're Francisco. Not wrong. At uh, Piano Fight. Piano Fight, 8 p.m. Get your tickets at eventbrite.com. Uh, uh, shine on, you crazy diamonds. Hey. It's been a great night. Mike TV was there too. Uh, let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never it's sort of a threshold at which point mentioning greater, anyone else makes them seem more or less. Yeah, better. right? Yeah. I know. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>